Hey folks, this is Stacy Cochran for howtopublishabook.org and for the book reviews here at Amazon.com with my latest video book review uh, of Steve Barry's The Venetian Betrayal. Uh, the Venetian Betrayal begins with Cotton Malone as the protagonist waking from unconsciousness in a museum in Copenhagen. And he at first isn't sure why he is there or what he's unconscious for, but he quickly notices these turtle-like machines maneuvering around the floor of the museum. And he sees that they're spraying some sort of pungent liquid all over the place. Within minutes, the museum goes up in flames and Cotton Malone barely escapes with his life by uh, jumping into a canal. He, he meets up with a friend of his, which at first we're not sure why she's there, Cassiopeia Vitt. And he, Cotton Malone and Cassiopeia Vitt, barely escape from this inferno of a museum by jumping into a canal. Soon thereafter, as the novel unfolds, we learn that Cassiopeia actually set the entire thing up as a trap to try and discover who has been stealing these things called elephant medallions, which date to antiquity. Specifically, they date to uh, the time shortly after Alexander the Great has died. Uh, so the big question of the novel is, uh, who's after these elephant medallions? What good are they? Uh, and why are people willing to kill one another over them? Thus begins Steve Barry's The Venetian Betrayal. Uh, I think the strength of this novel really lies in the villain in the novel, actually. This is my opinion, of course. But the villain in the novel is uh, Supreme Minister uh, Irina Zovastina, who is the leader of a fictionalized uh, nation-state called the Central Asian Federation, which is essentially uh, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan and a bunch of countries in the central part of Asia. And she is such a deliciously evil and complex character. Uh, I think reading about her and Barry's portrayal of her, his depiction of her, is worth the price of admission alone. Uh, she at times is completely ruthless and a killer and her greed and thirst for power is completely villainous. But there are moments in the novel when she does things that are actually sympathetic and I found myself uh, actually identifying with her or at least understanding some of the motivations that drive her uh, in a way that is pretty unique and remarkable for a villainous character. She really is, is very well drawn and multifaceted. And so I think the strength of the novel lies in her character as well as the multiple storylines that Steve Barry uh, flawlessly weaves together. Basically you've got uh, about four different storylines that interweave and come together ultimately towards an incredible ending to this novel uh, with global uh, ramifications and, and health ramifications around the world. Uh, essentially, you have uh, ancient riddles tied to Alexander the Great. Uh, you have secret tombs where he may have been buried. Uh, and along the journey of this novel, Cotton Malone and Cassiopeia Vitt are thwarted everywhere by two thieves working for, uh, two agents working for uh, Supreme Minister uh, Irina Zovastina, as well as the Council of Ten, which governs the Venetian League. And as the novel unfolds, without giving too much away, we learn that the uh, Council of Ten is in league with this villainous character and leader of the Central Asian Federation, Princess Irina Zovastina. So, in a nutshell, if you are a fan of thrillers and you love thriller fiction, man, it is really, uh, this novel is, is firing on all cylinders. Uh, again, the novel today is Steve Barry's The Venetian Betrayal, and I think the strength of the novel lies in the villain character as well as the uh, nearly flawless interweaving of the multiple storylines that Steve Barry draws together uh, to create suspense 
in this novel, The Venetian Betrayal. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I think underlying the novel, there is there is a compassion and a weight to the story at hand, which might be easy to gloss over by looking only at the plot and the uh, the characters in the novel. But there's actually a heart beneath this thriller. Uh, so I highly recommend The Venetian Betrayal. I'm Stacy Cochran for howtopublishabook.org and for the video book reviews here at Amazon.com. I thank you for tuning in, and I highly recommend Steve Berry's The Venetian Betrayal. (laughs) 